Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Sherman and I simplify jazz for you. When I started out playing jazz, all my lines sounded like this. You may have noticed that each lick began on a beat, like one, two, three, or four. And not only is it boring, it's also like a plane constantly taking off but never ever landing. So your solo doesn't have any flow and it sounds holistic and artificial. So let's change that. A lot of bebop lines you'll learn in your life consist of only eight notes, like this line. Now that was actually a great bebop line and we don't want to change anything about it. If we move the timing to one and, for example, in order not to start on beat one, the uh, placement of the notes would be off. One and two and three and four, then this would be a beat suddenly. We don't want that. The line is perfect as it is, but what we can do is we can add something before the bar even starts and we call this a pickup bar. We're gonna add additional notes. The simplest thing you can do is add a chromatic note bef uh, before beat one below the target note or above the target note. So the first note is our target note. That was the lick. This is the target note. Now we want to start on beat four and with a chroma chromatic below. And one. You have to learn this, practice this with a metronome so you feel where the four and is. If your timing is off, that will suck. So it's like one, two, three, four, and one. And do it from above. Three, four, and one. You gotta feel it, you can't stand on a band stage and count, right? So you have to feel it. You can feel it by focusing on the second note, which is actually the first note of the uh, next beat. Here's the beat, here's where the metronome uh, clicks, so practice with the metronome. Let's listen to that with the backing track. If you want to dig deeper into jazz playing, check out my starter packs. I have all different kinds of genres like Latin, jazz, blues. You learn how to do the rhythm comping, you learn how to improvise. There are chord melody packages on my uh, lesson shop. And all the lesson material is included, uh, like the Taps Guitar Pro Taps, including Taps and Notation, backing tracks, and of course, uh, the link to the uh, detailed video tutorials. The price on these packages is a no-brainer, so click the link down below in the description box and grab yours now. A commonly used technique in jazz are enclosures. An enclosure is when you play a note below and a note above, so you enclose the target note. So these can be chromatics or scale tones. I'm gonna be using chromatics for now. You can do whatever you want, actually, if it makes sense. So um, let's go from below, from above, target note. Now you have two eighth notes, you have to start on beat four. Four and one, and again, you have to feel that. You can start here or the other way around. You could also take that G note actually, but since the G appears on the next note anyway, you're going back, I don't know, for me it doesn't sound that good. Sounds better to my ears. The coolest enclosures to me are three-way enclosures. That means you have two uh, 
notes on one side, left or right, and the other note is on the other side. So F is our target tone again. Let's say we have one note on the left side because it's within our fingering, that's, so that's better. And then you go two on the right side and here's your target tone. Just This is a visual thing also. And you have to start on count three and. This, uh, I found that this is difficult for some people. You have to practice that again and feel B three and. One, two, three. Or the other way around. Try not, there are more permutations, is that the word? Uh, permutations, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> than uh, I showed you now, but not all make sense. Try not to have two chromatic notes. We only had one, the F sharp. This chromatic note is actually a scale tone as well. So you could also have played E flat E. So you could have F sharp, E flat, E, F. Sounds good now, but if you play it against the backing track, you have the F sharp and the E flat, both not uh, scale tones. Mm. Your ear is the last judge, as always, so if you like it, do it. If not, I usually don't recommend it. You can help to keep the free video tutorials of this channel running by becoming a member of the channel and you can do so by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button which also grants you access to my mini lessons. You can also say a little thank you by clicking the thanks button and donate a little something. This really helps with the productions of the videos. Thanks a lot. We can use triplets to make the original line sound more interesting. We gotta be careful with that, but I'll show you how to do that. So we have, here's a new line by the way, in D Dorian, so over a D minor chord. Now, I can add a triplet here, let's say on beat one. Triplet, and then I'll play eight notes. That makes my line completely off and it ends one note too early. The original line ended on four and, one and two and three and four and, and now triple at two and three and four. And especially the second half of the bar is completely shifted. So um, we don't want that. And also this video is about not always starting on beat one. So let's start on beat one and one then play an eighth note. That's the trick. That's what everyone does and it really makes you sound instant jazz. One and, and now on count two you add the triplet. One and triple that. You gotta have that in your feeling. I usually play that rest when I practice. I give it a little of a click. So I feel beat one. I feel the rest. Now the whole second half, three and four end, is like the original line. We just changed the first part a bit. Okay, let's listen to that. And the next thing you want to be doing is play over the bar line. That means you add some notes after your initial lick and you don't always end on four end. Usually you learn licks that go from one to four end, one bar. It depends on the lick of course, but usually that's the case. A lot of times that's the case. So here's your core line, your bebop lick. You play a big pickup bar before that, then you play your core line and then you add a couple of notes and those notes usually I play usually arpeggio notes and you want to end on an end right you want to end on one end or two end two end is the most often played uh, ending yeah that's where you end the most in bebop or maybe three end so you just add arpeggio notes to that I'm gonna be showing you now a 16 
bar solo where I play all that. You're going to learn a lot of licks, but I'm not going to explain all this now in the video. You can download the tab with all the notes in within the tab where I played pickup bar, pick bars, where I played over the bar line, where I used triplets. You learn that solo and you will get a feeling for how to phrase better and not always start on beat one. Please give this video a fat thumbs up because it's really so important for me as a creator, you know, the YouTube algorithm and spread the love, share this video to friends, uh, subscribe my channel and hit that bell notification so you never miss a new video. I hope to see you next week. Servus, baba. Thank you.